like it's I was pressuring myself maybe the first year. I was like, oh, I got to get out here and get sales. But then it got to the point. It was like I started thinking, like, just chill out, bro. Like, have fun. Be strategic about it. And once I started really relaxing, I'm actually getting more business. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm actually getting more business, more people. Like, my, my creativity is coming. I'm seeing things. I was like, you've been looking at this for six months and then poof, all of something, something happens. And now, uh, you, you know, you've seen in the last couple of days, we've been sharing graphics and items that are like something happened. There was a shift and like, you know, and that's how it's been happening. Like I make a shift and I see it. I was like, wow, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty impressive. But, but for me, I don't try to compare myself to other people. I've learned that because everybody's a photographer these days. Everybody has a cell phone. Everybody is a, is a videographer. Uh, but what makes you different is your creativity. And for me, when I shoot an event, I'm thinking that I'm pulling surveillance. So it's actually, you know, it's a little creepy in a way, but in a good way. But I'm stalking people in the room that's having a good time and if they're having a good time, I know I'm going to get a good shot. So I set up and I wait for them. They come in, they start having fun and high-fiving. And do, 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 do. I get all my shots. I move to the next group. I do the same. So it's a game for me. Mm-hmm. You know, like you saw me at uh, Vepreneur Tribes at the Business Accelerator at Mick last year. And that's what I was doing in there. That's why I was everywhere. Plus, I was by myself. Yeah. But... That's what I was doing. I have a long lens, which is like a rifle. And then I have a short lens, which is like my pistol <laughs> for close range. <laughs> so nothing's changed. <laughs> Mentality, I'm just not hurting nobody. Just looking for people smiling. <laughs> you know, when I, now, that, now the truth is out. It's like, yeah, this dude's sicko. But uh, that's, that's what's going on in my head when I'm shooting an event. Uh, granted that like no man this guy takes great headshots oh oh by the way i was a trained sniper while i was on active duty kind of (laughs) ghost you use those skills to make you into this great photographer now so you can do that i I like that you say that you you don't compare yourself with other people because there are there's other photographers and for me there's other bloggers but i think what's most important is that it's our own, what we put into it, our own creativity, our own, you know, um, mindset into it. Because if you worry too much about, oh, man, that photographer is doing this, maybe I should do it. You can take, I think it's important to take some of that creativity, but make it your own. Because you, you're you going to see it all the time. And so I think you guys, for one thing that I've seen with Chris that I've learned, and which is why I call him my mentor, is because I see all these 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 different ideas and these different things and and learn how to make it into my own and I think that's what's important in anything you do is just make sure that you have that passion for it because if you go on there and you're doing it just for the money or just to be famous or just for this then you're going to lose that that love for it and I think like what I see with you Chris is that you really love what you do because you can see it in your in the art that you are posting on Facebook or that you have put in the headshots, they're all just like, man, that's good. It's just like, wow. (laughs) And I'm constantly sending him a message saying, I love that. I want to do it too. (laughs) He says, well, wait a minute, do it this way. And so then, you know, we go back and forth, but you make, you make us think for ourselves all while teaching us. And then when we create something, it's like, Hey, you proud of me now? I did it. (laughs) <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that's the, I think, you know, when you say what's different, I have some other friends out in Clarksville, shout out to 14 Media, uh, Jason and Gary, they're both uh, Green Berets with cameras. And, and I think that's just how we, we just, you know, I know for me personally, uh, I'm more so looking to team up with other photographers and creators, but what I've learned with the market is 
everybody's so focused on creating their identity or their creativity that they're not really open for collaboration like that. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's really hard because your competition and because there's so many cameras, like there's so many cameras, people are doing really doing the most to be like different. Um, and I think for me, what I do to be different has nothing to do with photo and video. For me, it's all about building a relationship with the person that's going to trust me to get them in a vulnerable spot, to let them express themselves and open up because I've learned that a lot of people don't like being in front of the camera, especially if they're not comfortable with you. So if you don't show any care and people are like, <clears throat> how do you get those shots? I say, I don't tell people to smile. I, I talk to them. I figure out what's in their family, their occupation, you know, what they do for recreation, what their dreams are. And once I find something that makes them laugh or they're happy about, then I stay on it and I keep them laughing. And, and we're talking the whole time just like this. And I'm just taking shots. I'm like, oh, yeah, look this way. Boom. Hey, stand right here. looking in the light. Boom. And, and I'm just, we're just having a conversation. And before I was like, oh, we're done. They were like, what? We're done? Like, yeah. Here you go. Which one do you want? You know? So that's my, I try to be connect. And I learned this from um, one of my headshot gurus and mentors you know you know me it could be a youtube or a video or somebody you follow peter hurley he's a big headshot photographer in new york and he said get all the technical stuff done like the lighting and the the numbers and the settings done so when the client comes in the talent comes in you could connect with them mm. so that's what i try to do is i'm always trying to connect I'm always trying to make a friend. Uh, I'm, I'm not networking. I'm building relationships. That's, I don't network because if you build a relationship one, two, three at a time, that's how you build a network. Mm -hmm. Not passing out your business cards and like, hey, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Like, no, that's not networking. That's being desperate, really. Right. <laughs> You know, <laughs> buy my shit, buy my shit, buy my shit. Like, no, no, people don't, people get bombarded with marketing all day long. They need something different. And that's where I'm like, hey, man, um, what'd you do last summer? I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, I'm like, yeah, man, like, what'd you do last month, summer? I went here. Where'd you go? Oh, I went here. Da -da 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 -da. And then, like, and then they go like, well, so what do you do, man? You seem pretty. Oh, oh, I'm a photographer. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, I'm just a photographer. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I couldn't tell that big camera on your leg. You know, I had to say that a couple of times. And people were like, well, so what do you do? I'm like, green Bay media, like photo, video, big camera. I got two. That's not normal. <laughs> a dude carrying two big cameras. But no, no, it's uh, that's. That's how what I've, I know there's better photographers out there than me. I know there's better videographers out there than me, but I'm putting in the time, I'm putting in the work and I'm getting to know the people that I'm working with. So I always say, I don't want to take your money. I want to, I want to win your business. So anybody who comes to me and they're like, well, I only got 500 bucks and I need this, this, this. And I was like, well, wait, wait a minute. You need to go to the other guy because what you want is not what was matching your budget. Uh, and I don't think I'm all that, but I'm just, that's how I, I want to be able to do and work with people that I enjoy doing. If I feel like it's about the money, then I cut sling low. Yeah. I could do without it. You know, yeah. I could um, do without it. That's what makes you real. Yeah. <laughs> You're your authentic self you're real you're you're not in it just for one thing you actually want to build a relationship and you want to you know you want to earn their business not just their money and all that so i think that's what i think that's what's lost sometimes in right. the in this 
this, I don't know if it's this generation. It's been like this for a while, but yeah. with businesses, with people out there, they just want it for one thing, and it's like, mm. but having having worked with Chris for a little bit on some things, um, I definitely I've seen how he does things, and it, it is it's really it's really easy to walk in and just like start talking about. We could talk for hours about just whatever. So it's I know, like we are now. <laughs> We're like, how <I'm> much? <laughs> I was like, well, it's 30 minutes, but. <laughs> Part two and three. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> uh, so real quick now, I said okay. I three times. Yeah. What, um, should, should we spill the beans on something a little bit here on um the, your next big projects times? I don't know how many you have going on at the same time. But by the time this gets released, you guys, uh, we will have something in the works. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> um, well, you tell them. It was your your amazing idea to um to make some video and and uh do a little we're going to release a trailer by then and So so I give him I give him the story. So after meeting Annette and you know, military influencer, I went there to meet people and then I had another event and I was like, Hey, would you be interested in uh, coming on a podcast? So I was just starting our podcast. We actually sat nearby each other in the podcast um, class they had at Mick. Uh, and then she saw me at, at Vetpreneur Tribe Business Accelerated. And, you know, I see her again. I was like, Hey, um, you want to do a podcast? I'm starting up, you know, I figure I'd get with people I already know. And we did that. And I listened to her story. Um, I did some research and I was like, Whoa, this is interesting. I was like, how do I, you know, how do I do this? So I just, after speaking and it just hit me one day, I was like, a lot of these podcast stories are going to become films as I want to do so this this we just wrote the script she's been writing the script and i see it i see the story we're going to put it together and we're going to bring all you know this a wild ride called life and that's what we're going to bring to the screen for everybody um, to see and and break that stigma um, like you mentioned in the podcast bring that stigma of mental uh, awareness and let people know that um, we're not broken. Um, lately, I've been saying, you know, veterans don't need therapy and medication. They just want to be heard. Yeah. You know, that's it. Bottom line, that's how I feel. And I've come working with you and just going through this process and doing research and listening to everything. And, you know, I'm editing your videos of the interviews and, going through your social and learning your life. Um, people people need to hear what you have to say because you hit, you went through a transition, a warp, where it was like, you need to stay here and you got to do this and you got your mission. And I'm, I'm here to help. Um, and that's what I saw. And that's why I chose to work with you and team up with you. Um, not because it's an interesting story, but overall, you are a good person, um, and and we connect. You know, that's just how it is. You know, I only, I know right away if I don't, if I don't connect with you, then it's not happening. <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> if it's not happening, it's not happening. We can't force it. You know, we can't force it. It's got to be natural. So, September eleven. We're going to release a trailer. I'm working it now. And then November 11th, uh, we're going to release the four, the full 24 minutes. And hopefully, uh, if anybody got any ideas of how we could uh, get this produced and pushed out to the masses since we, we're in social distance and COVID now, um, let us know. Please contact Annette or you could find me, Google me. I'm your camera guy the easy plug right there <laughs> you could just google me uh oh, that's a good one 
<laughs> it sounds weird saying that now uh, from where I started. <laughs> I understood how hashtag.